Hey guys! So yeah, I guess it's time to give you guys finally an update on my CI Flicker Strike uh, Blade Flurry character. Um, real life has been pretty busy for me. Uh, I recently also got sick, but yeah, I'm I'm good now. And yeah, I hope I can give you guys some tips, help you guys out with this video. Um, if I still miss something, uh, let me know in the comments or check my uh, build guide out. Um, I leave a link in the description. Also, you will find the uh, uh, passive tree and the uh, paste bin for path of building there. So, um, yeah, there hasn't been really that big uh, of changes for this build. Um, I think the biggest one is uh, the passive tree. So, yeah, I honestly don't really remember how the passive tree looked like before. Um, I'm barely uh, playing path of X at the moment. I just yeah, I don't really have uh, any goals at the moment in this game, um, but maybe this will change in the future, I don't know. But yeah, um, the Flask, the Alchemist cluster, which I really liked, got like split up and spread over the passive tree, which is kind of sad. But um, but now we have access to Timeless Jewels, so that's, that's the thing I want to talk about right now. Um, I recently got asked why I do didn't take any like keystones. Um, I don't really, I haven't really looked up on the, those recently, but as far as I can remember, there aren't really um, keystones that are like really beneficial for me. And also, um, I think it's really hard if you have a build guide and then build around uh, timeless jewels. It's, it's just really hard to reproduce for you guys. Mm, but yeah, this one is not really that bad. Uh, without any keystones. I mean, all those traveling nodes are giving me uh, strength and every 5 strength is 1% uh, increased uh, melee fizz damage or melee damage. What is it? Melee physical damage. And yeah, and due to Shaper's Touch, every uh, 10 strength is 2% increased energy shield. So this one right here is giving me 56 or 58 strength and will result in 200 energy shield on my uh, life pool, which is really nice, 58 strength. Yeah, and also those bigger ones are giving me like really nice stuff. Um, I got pretty lucky on divining this one. And yeah, total I get like, uh, I get 5% chance to deal double damage, 40% uh, increased melee damage, 20% increased melee, uh, no, increased physical damage, and those 50 melee crit multiplier. So really, really nice. A really really nice uh, boost in terms of uh, DPS and uh, energy shield. For oh yeah, you also can now enchant uh, in the Blight League your amulet. For this, I would, I mean, if you want some defense, you can try to get Soul of Steel or like Foresight for more energy shield. If you want some damage, um, I would suggest. Uh, disemboweling or dismembering down here for more crit chance and crit multiplier. Um, yeah, good good stuff if you want more. Um, oh yeah, uh, also there's a really easy way to um, craft yourself a nice chess piece. I have like a bad example right here. Um, bad example in sense of uh, the base item is not tier 1, so you do make sure that you get the carnal armor one because the higher base items have a higher base value of evasion rating and energy shield. And then you basically just toss some uh, dense fossils. Oh, no, before you do that, um, use the perfect fossils to make it 30% quality. And then you start um, using dense fossils to get like only evasion and energy shield rolls. You can use the, the, the other fossil that rolls the numbers lucky so that you get a higher chance to get the high tier ones. Um, in addition, if you want like more nice stuff, you can use, where is it? Uh, the serrated fossils to get the socket gems are supported by level one MAME suffix. Um, this will turn your Blade Flurry 6 link in the chest piece into a uh, 7 link. And the level 1 maim is, I don't know, like around 20% more damage. Or you can use a Bound Fossil. This will give you 
20 to 25 percent increased effect of auras on you um, which will result in more energy shield from discipline aura and more damage from the hatred aura yeah and also if you're lucky and get um, the elder base on the item you get the chance to roll uh, the, the, the attacks have more base crit chance uh, suffix roll which will also result in more damage obviously um, what else? Oh yeah, let's let's run uh, uh, this Chimera map real quick to give you guys an idea how the build is performing in 3.8 with a 400-ish dagger. Let me check. Yeah, this one right here. So this is not the mirror tier one, and this is really a realistic level of dagger you can get in the template for a couple exalts. And yeah, what else? Oh yeah, I'm using, again, I'm using Herald of Ice instead of Herald of Ash or um, Herald of Purity because I prefer uh, the higher clear speed than having a higher DPS. Oh god, it's been a while since I've played the game, but yeah, let me see. Not all murders are equal. Also, what I also really like about my build is the stacking of um, defensive mechanics. So I do focus on energy shield and evasion on my gear, which will give me a higher chance to evade, or give me a chance to evade uh, attacks. I also do focus on block chance. So this is why you block um, attacks. To further increase the block chance I'm using a Rumi's Concussion Flask uh, and using uh, Reckoning with Cast and Crit Tempest Shield. And Tempest Shield is also giving you additional chance to block. Oh, yeah, I should move out of that. And there's the Tempest Shield that got triggered by the Reckoning. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the Stipnet Flask here, since the Rift is not only giving you uh, more damage, but also is creating a smoke cloud, which is b blinding enemies to further amplify the chance to evade the attacks of, the, of them. So yeah. Oh yeah, and I still have like, um, what's it called, Ghost Straw from Trixer, which is still really good. They nerfed it a little bit, but it's totally fine. Oh yeah, and, and did you guys get just see? My character didn't move, but enemies got killed. So yeah, you will still um, desync despite the fact that I'm using, um, yeah, Lockstep. Okay, let's let's see how this will. It's a weird effect. Yeah, um, how's Blightly going? Are you guys having fun? <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking about making a video why I don't play Path of X anymore, um, but yeah, time. I don't. I just don't have the time. And I'm wondering if you people would actually like to know why I don't play the game, which is, I guess, not that of a topic but yeah okay <laughs> final blow yeah um, 
I hope I hope uh, you enjoyed the video and yeah, good luck and have a great time. Bye bye.